We'll have a look at Pythagoras' formula and how it's formed. Well, firstly, the formula is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. But what does this mean? So we've got a right angle triangle here, and our values a, b, and c all represent a side length. Now c will always represent the hypotenuse, and the hypotenuse is this length I've just labelled. Now you know it's this length because it's the longest side, and also it's opposite this right angle here. Now we also have sides a and b, but which sides do these go on? Well it doesn't actually matter. You can call this a and this b, or you can call this a and this b, as long as you stick to those labels throughout the working out. So let's look at this formula more in depth and what it means. Now firstly we've got the hypotenuse which is side c, and I'm going to label this side a and this side b. If we take a look at side a, which is this side here, what we're going to do is let's just make this into a square. So because it's a square we'll have this side length and then the same side length, so therefore it's a square, and we now have the area a squared. We're going to do the same to this side here, which we've called side b. So if we imagine we've got this side length, we want to make this into a square, so we've got another side length of the exact same length, so then we've got a square, and we've got an area of b squared. Lastly, let's make a square using the length of the hypotenuse, and that'll give us this area of c squared. So we've got area a squared, b squared and c squared. Now what Pythagoras figured out is if you add the area of a squared to the area of b squared is the same as this area of the area c squared. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So that's what this formula means and using this information we can figure out the side lengths using only two of the sides of a right angle triangle. And that's it. If you click on the video on the right, it shows a really awesome video showing Pythagoras' theorem working. And if you click on the left video, it'll take you to my next video, which is finding the hypotenuse.